Hello family, greetings in Jesus name. Welcome to Simple Living channel. Those who are new, my name is Jahnavi and I have been called by God to be instrument of his love, which he shows to me every day in my faults, falls and failures. I am not a confident person. All the time, I have been harassed by the enemy over my faults, my shortcomings, vices and sins which was actually condemnation. Even then, Lord has compassion on me and forgave me, lifted me up on daily basis only to strengthen me to get and walk again with Him. This message was given by the Lord on first week of December. In those days, I have been severely oppressed. I came before the Lord and began to seek the Lord. And Lord began to speak, My daughter, I love you. Trust me, there was an assignment against you to make you insane. They will repeatedly do it, dear, but now you are with me. I am protecting you, dear. I am with you. Trust that. My mother is with you. Last night, it was not my mother, so be discerning. As an aside, I felt Blessed Mother was speaking to me. But Lord confirmed to me it was not her. Guys, I'm still learning. Don't be afraid when such things happen. It's also training in discernment. Lord continued, Be quiet in your mind. You will be able to discern appropriately. So Lord asked me to be quiet, to have a still mind. Immediately I heard a transmitting voice. It was a voice of a demon as if it was in pain, screaming, Master, she is slipping, come save. Wow, that was demon talking to Lucifer, his master. Lord continued, you are used to now, be quiet, dear. That's what I want to show you when you are trusting me. It creates pains for them. They became disintegrated, dear. Trust my word began to declare my word against it. There is no weapon can stand. Trust is a weapon against the enemy. It's a shield that protects you. It's an acid fire and douse them. When you trust me, I grow in you. I'm consuming fire. This fire they can't stand. You may not know, but yes, it happens in spirit realm. That's why trusting me is important for all my brides. This season is like no other. The enemy plants a covered trap. He knows your weakness, avarice, greed, and complacency. They like to enjoy holidays when I want you in mission. That's why, dear, this season should be a season of charity. Abound in your desires and tend to me. Tend to poor. Visit for prayers. To a needy person. Visit the sick. Don't sit in shopping malls. Can you narrate? It's not my will. Family, I visited a shopping mall. It was not your will. I was sifted. I was in adoration. Suddenly, I heard a voice calling my name. And the atmosphere changed. The voice was gentle but sharply rebuking me for going to shopping. Fear gripped my heart as if I'm doomed and condemned. Family, if you hear such voice, please don't believe it. See the fruit, what is producing in you, fear, hopelessness, or condemnation. Then it is not the Lord, because Lord never condemns. I was deceived many times, thinking Lord is condemning me. I felt so hopeless that it led to resentment against the Lord, and constantly I was anxious and fearful. Please don't believe. The voice of God is assuring, encouraging, Lord does admonish you, but his encouragement brings you more hope in you. Lord again continued. The big demon began to accuse you, make you fearful. This is an open deer of avarice and success that causes breach in my protection. My dear brides, I'm not against your happiness. I'm against excess. When others are struggling one morsel of food, I want you to discard unnecessary things in your home and unnecessary engagements. 
visit your families, but keep it simple. I want all my brides in a position of charity. Trust me, do my will in this season. Worship me, my poor state, how I was born. Let this season be deep meditation of my humble birth in your lives. Learn from me, I am meek and humble. I want my brides to imitate me. Amen. That was the end of Lord Jesus' message. Family, let's continue to grow in grace of Lord. Lord is faithful in all ups and downs, in all failures, in everything. If we continue to seek him, he is faithful. May you all be blessed in this season. Amen.